Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video, hitting you guys in the face with a bit of a Sunday upload. And guys, we're looking at an expanded Empoleon deck here that I have on PDCGO. And in my opinion, I feel like this deck might actually be pretty underrated. Um, So let's try and check it out. Um, before we get in the video, I'm very close to 2,000 subs. We are probably like 30, 29, 28, 27 subscribers away. So if you guys... If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you sub and help me hit 2k. I want to see if I can hit 2,000 subscribers by Friday, which is the release of Shining Legends. So I want to see if I can hit it by then. That'd be pretty dope, pretty lit. I think it would be pretty cool. Um, but today we're looking at Empoleon. And you know what? I, I'm probably just going to put um, Secret Ultra Ball and Secret Empoleon in the thumbnail just because it goes along with this Plasma Freeze theme. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at the deck here that I got. So, basically, last ladder we had was a Plyma Freeze ladder, and I ended up pulling a Secret Empoleon out of my packs, which is sweet. I'm like, yo, this is lit. Honestly, I think it's, Secret Empoleon, I think, is one of the best Secret Rares you can pull. So, I was pretty happy about that. Um, so, we're going to be using an Empoleon deck today in Expanded, and I think it's kind of underrated. No one really gives Empoleon that much attention, but I think this deck could actually be pretty fun. Um, to start things off, Empoleon is a very good card. In fact, it's so good, there's a new card coming out in Shiny Legends that's basically the exact same card, but only better. It's Zorg GX. Zorg GX is going to be crazy good. And my boy Empoleon is basically a dumbed-down version of that. So, Empoleon has a lot of good traits. It's a water type, meaning you're going to hit for good weaknesses on Volcanion and whatnot. It's got a really good ability, which is what makes it so good. Um... Its ability, once during turn before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand if you do draw two cards. This ability is amazing, great draw support. And then you have attack command, which is really powerful. Just for a single energy, you do 10 damage times the number of Pokemon in play, which is super strong. So Empoleon has a great attack and a great ability. It's got good HP, good typing. This card is insanely good, in my opinion. It's a really good card. Zorg GX is coming out. It's going to be like Empoleon on steroids. Basically, Zorg GX has the exact same attack um, but you're for your Pokemon for DC, but it also has the same ability as Empoleon. Um, so, Empoleon is great, and it doesn't get much play in Expanded. In Legacy, Empoleon, I think, is one of the most top-tier decks in the format, but here, it's like no one gives it any love. Now, I think Empoleon does combo nicely with Dustnor, but in Expanded, I don't think it works as well. Dustnor, I don't think, is as good in Expanded, so we're going to be using it with Blend Energy Attackers. Blend Energy is a great card with Empoleon because it's uh, it's an energy that provides fighting, lightning, metal, and water. So you can use this with Empoleon, but this means we can use some other attackers. Now, I do think we could put a Cobalion EX in the deck. I don't have one. I tried to get one. None of my trades went through, and I tried like two times. I was like... Pfft. I'm not even going to bother. Um, but I think Obelion's a great tech in this deck. We'll talk about what you can maybe take out and whatnot. We'll, we'll kind of discuss the deck a bit as we go along. As we always do, of course. Um, but it gives you Lightning and Fighting types to work with. And we're going to use Lightning and Fighting Pokemon. They really only need one of those energies to attack. For example, Landorus CX. Now, I went with Landorus over Zygarde and Lucario because they both have worse weaknesses. Zygarde being weak to grass. Galistapod is a crazy deck in Expanded. Galistapod is very popular in Expanded. So I don't want to run that. Obviously, being weak to Psychic is bad, too, because Garboder is also pretty popular. So, Lucario and Zygarde are both kind of not good, in my opinion. Even though you only use them in those matchups, you get my point. What if you start with them, right? It's like, well, yeah. Landorus, being weak to Water, kind of sucks. Water Box is a little thing. But Hammerhead is just too good to not want to use, right? So, for one energy, you do 30. 30 damage when your points bench Pokemon. With Blend Energy, you just need one energy. You can set up a Land Judgment, I guess, which we do end up doing in the video. Spoiler alert. Um, but we do have Hammerhead in this deck, which is great. And with a Choice Band, Landorus is going to be doing 120 to Darkrai. So, it's going to be good against Darkrai. Darkrai is a very popular deck in Expanded. Landorus's Hammerhead can make, you know, Darkrai have some trouble. Also, Hammerhead is great since the meta also has a lot of pre-evolution Pokemon like Ralts, Vulpix... Wimpods, just low HP Pokemon, Hammerhead can pick those things off pretty easily. We also play one Manetric. Mega Rayquaza is also a bit of a popular deck in Expanded, and also Evelthal is pretty popular, and anything else weak to Lightning that I'm too lazy to name off the top of my head. Um, Assault Laser is great at wrecking them. Assault Laser is a good attack in general. For two energies, you can do 120, 150 with a Choice Band. I mean, that's pretty dang good. We also have Overrun, which is like a dumbed-down version of Hammerhead, mainly focusing on Assault Lasers, so we have that kind of typing advantage also. Um, we also play one Lapras in here, mainly for Collect, 
Empoleon is a bit of a slower deck. It's similar to Gardevoir. You have to get multiple in play to really get this deck going. So Lapras and like I guess Metagross too, I guess. But um, it's kind of all about getting multiple Empoleons going uh, at once. Lapras's collect can help us do that. We can draw some extra cards. We can always Ace Roll it back into our hand if we don't want anymore, which is why I played Ace Roll. Uh, we do play one tab with Feeny in here too. Um, this is the card I think you could intertwine and take out for something like a Cobalion. Cobalion you'd obviously need because Gardevoir is a good deck. It's not super popular in Expanded. It's still a good deck in Expanded. But there's so many other cards in Expanded. People sometimes don't care about Gardevoir because there's so many other options in Expanded. It'd be boring just to play Gardevoir. Because most Gardevoir lists in Expanded are like almost the same thing as Standard. Um, so people would probably want to do something else just for the funsies. But you know what, if you run into something like Gardevoir or just anything that sets up really quickly, you can just reset them. Helps you, you know, get back to a uh, part where your opponent gets a little slowed down because of Tapu Storm. It gives you a bit of time to set up an Empoleon again because it is more of a slowish deck. Because once you get one Empoleon in play, you're good. But when you get like two to three in play, you're golden, which is awesome. Now, a cool partner with Empoleon is Execute. This is amazing. Now, we are going to play one Execute in this list. Propagation, once during turn before you attack, if this Pokemon's in your discard pile, you may put it into your hand, you know what you do with your boy Execute, you dive and draw it, so you don't have to discard any card from your hand, but an Execute, but you can keep reusing Propagation every single turn, so you can keep Propagating every turn and diving, drawing your Execute away, drawing two free cards every turn, so it's amazing. Uh, we do of course play our two Leleys with Wonder Tag, and we do play one Oracorio, again Night March is a pretty big threat to Empoleon because Joltik can hit you for weakness and one shot you very easily, might I add. They don't need that many Pokemon to discard Pelo one shot you with Joltik. So Oracorio can help us, and again if we run into Best Win Flareon, which is also a popular deck, also Oracorio can be great to finish things off because you'll notice there's a bit of a recurring theme with this deck. You're not taking one shots unless it's on something with weakness, right? Empoleon's only going to cap at 150 with a choice band full field, no sky field. Manetric can only do 150, even Landorus' damage output is kind of weak, other than Lampras, which could take one-shots, which is slower to build up, so we're probably never going to Blizzard burn, maybe Ice Beam once in a while. So you'll notice Oracorio can be great at the late game to just sweep things. It's kind of like a mini version of Dustnor in this deck. It provides that kind of Dustnor-esque ability in the late game. Because in the late game, you probably will have a lot of Pokemon to discard pile, most likely. You can just Supernatural dance and win the game that way. Also, again, Night March, you smoke them pretty easily. We do have two breaks of Empoleon, why not? Gives your Empoleon 170 HP. It makes it hard for them to knock knock him out. Gardevoir can struggle to knock an Empoleon break as long as you're not using Emperor's Command, which needs two energies. One energy on 170 HP Pokemon that's two shotting you. Yeah, not good for Guardi. Um, also, it lets you survive other big Pokemon too. Um, so Empoleon breaks great. You also have Emperor's Command, which is an attack that can take one shots very easily. Um, so we do play the two Empoleon breaks. We got our 4-2-4 pick, uh, Polion line. Of course, we got our four Piplups with Charm. Charm's way better than the other Piplups, in my opinion. Um, actually, Dark Explorer's in the shop right now as I'm making this video. Um, and there's this Piplup from Dark Explorers, which... Oh, no, that's not the Dark Explorers one. This one, right here, Fury Attack. People like using this one because I think it's got the best artwork out of all the Piplups. But the Charm one is obviously going to be the better of the two Piplups. You could put a Lolan Vulpix in here, too. Something I just thought of. Um, so yeah, those are all of our Pokemon. Of course, we got our Leleys. Um, going into the items, we got one Search. Now, Search is great with Execute. It's also great at grabbing, like, a rare candy to guarantee, like, a turn to Empoleon or something like that. Um, Dowsing Machine, I think, would also work pretty well in this deck, too. It's up to you. Computer Search, I think, is just a better card. We do play two Dive Balls now. Here's the thing. I want to swap out two Dive Balls for a Level Ball Dive Ball, which, at the time, I've already recorded my game, so I think what you can do, guys, is you can swap out one Dive Ball for a Level Ball. Because Level Ball, you can still grab Piplup and Primplup, but then you can also grab either Oracorio or Execute. Execute, obviously, being the big one, because you want a Dive Ball or a Level Ball. Yeah, Level Ball. You want a Level Ball for Execute, and then Diving Draw it away, so I think you could definitely throw in a Level Ball um, in this deck, um, which I do regret doing. At the end of the video, I do put it in, but I... You know, kind of have to re-record the uh, deck of which part, so I'm like, what? Um, but yeah, I think one level ball, one die ball is better than two die balls. Um, I just like the die ball because you can grab Empoleon and Empoleon Break. It's up to you, though. I think one level ball, one dive is just better so you can get the Execute going. we got four rare candies to guarantee maximi maximizing the Empoleon. Now, we only play one rod. Now, two rods is better. A rod stretcher is better. However, we played Karen in the deck already, so I don't think you need any more than one rod. Um, sometimes just getting the energy back is better than just getting Pokemon back. Uh, we got four Ultra Balls, of course, search out our deck. I'm going to put this in the thumbnail because we already got a secret rare Pokemon from Plasma Freeze. So why not, since this video is basically a celebration of me pulling something from Plasma Freeze, 
why not just put in the most expensive card in the game in the video too? In the thumbnail, you know, I thought it looked cool. They're both from Plasma Freeze. It's a celebration. You know, we're going to put all the I don't care if people call me clickbait, even though it's not even clickbait. Yeah. We got three VS Seekers. We don't need any more than three because, and Polion, once you get Diving Draw going, you're drawing so many cards. VS Seekers not important, but you're still going to need it for Guzmas and stuff like that. We got our one ace roll. Sometimes you just need to bring something back into your hand. Like Lapras, you don't need any more. Like Feeny or even Landris. We got one Bridget. Bridget turn one, get multiple pickups in play. One Chorus is great draw support in this deck. Two, I think, is even better. I think two might be better than one. Or, yeah, two might be better. But again, in the early games, Chorus can sometimes hurt you. Two Guzmas. A lot of Pokemon in this deck have bigger tree. Lapras. Even Empoleon has a two tree cost. And of course, Landers have been three. Guzma's important. is better than Lysander. So I think two is better. Karen, just to make those Night March matchups even easier to beat. Three ends for draw support. Three Sycamores. In the early game, these cards are still important. So I'm still going to be playing the three three line. Not like a two end. Two Sycamore thing, I think it's better. Four Choice Band, maximize damage. It's great. Again, you can do 120 with Landris. You can do a lot more damage with Attack Command and Emperor's Command. Um, one Float Stone, again, Pokemon with Bicker Treat in this deck. Lapras, Landris, even Empoleon. Four Blend Energies to attack with our Landris, Manetric, and whatnot. And, of course, four Basic Water Energy. And that'll wrap up the deck estimation of the Empoleon Expanded deck. Let's go find some matches with the deck. See in action on PDC Joe, and I'll show you guys why I think this deck is pretty underrated in Expanded. Well, not this list, but... The deck okay, in general. Let's get some matches so you guys here with this Empoleon deck. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, see how it goes. Shiny Legends dropping soon. Um, so, I mean, by the time you're watching this, I probably will, but I'm going to be trying to grind some tournaments. Um, ooh, a fire deck. But I'm going to try and grind some tournaments um, this week because I really, really do want to get a bunch of packs for Shiny Legends just because I'm not going to be. I'm not going to have that many packs for Shiny Legends. Um, I only have like 70 Guardians Rising packs. That's not going to be able to get me day one Zoark GXs. I do have a video planned for day one Shiny Legends though. Um, but again, it's like I might need to do that. Um, I think I'm going to start with Manetric here and not start with Piplup in case we get donked or something by a baby Volk. But yeah, you get my point, right? So I'm going to try and do some tournaments. I'm pretty sure Legacy or Expanded, one of the two is like Plasma Freeze Triumphant, which is perfect. So. I'm gonna just play a ton of that, and I don't really like this hand that much. The Toro start is annoying because we actually cap out at certain damage, so it looks like we're in trouble. I think I'm just gonna get rid of a Water Energy and a Napoleon, and I might just have to grab a Lele here. Maybe Lele for an N. Bridget is prized. Yeah, we're gonna have the Lele for N here, it looks like. Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna have to try and maybe go Landers here, but we're gonna get Mad Bolt, so yeah, not looking good. If anything, we'll Landers with a Choice Band to at least do 120, so it's like, well, you can Mad Bull me, but <laughs> you're gonna get Donked easily by Empoleon. Well, not Donked, but not do. We are going to get a bit of an interesting hand. I think I'm just gonna Dive Ball for another Piplup here and try and get a few into play. Seems fine. Uh, so, looks like all of our Empoleons are in the deck. Let's just check our candies. We should probably check the deck. Uh, one candy is indeed prized. Um, boo -doo 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 -doo. looks like one Sika and one N is prized. Uh, yeah, that's it. It looks like most of our prizes are fine. We got all of our energy in the deck, which is also pretty important. Um, so let's just get another pip up down, I think. And I think it's best just to pass. We aren't going to be able to get an Empoleon in play with this hand next turn, but we can get a Primp up down, which is pretty nice. Maybe I can, like, overrun him and set him up to be knocked out. He does play Po Town, uh, which is annoying. We don't actually play Field Blower in this deck. So that Po Town's a little annoying. But he's not really like he's playing a Po Town-based deck. Does a Belathon? Are you serious? Hmm. Maybe we'll have to Empoleon break him. Oh, you actually gonna do this to my poor little Piplup. Does he add the DC? He doesn't. Okay, cool. Okay, he puts Shaman down after attaching, so it looks like our Piplup won't be knocked out here. Hmm. What is annoying, however, is our... I don't really have a good way to retreat. He's not attacking me, so we can't ace roll our Piplup back. Oh, he's just going to move the energy. 
and a pass. Well then, interesting. I'm gonna put Lapras down. Uh, we're gonna have to evolve into Primple up here, which is unfortunate. We could maybe have done the Ace Roller play, but I wouldn't really have anything else to do with that hand. So that's kind of stupid. Let's try and hit a Floatstone here. Mm. We actually hit it. Holy cow. Um, I'll put another Piplup down. A Floatstone. The only problem is this Poe Town is going to be in play for a while. So we're going to be taking quite a bit of damage here. <laughs> Previous Seekers. Oh, the good thing we have to do an end and not Sycamore. So we are going to go collect here and maybe try and get an Empoleon and stuff. There it is. And we got to hope for the best. I mean, at this point, we could probably Guzma the Flareons and knock them out. A Team Flareon. Well, then, that's interesting. There's two energies in the drain. I think I'll just attach a Blend Energy to Lapras, then. I mean, you could put Rough Seas in this deck, since you do have a few water types, like Empoleon, Lapras, and Feeny. But those are cards that aren't really going to be doing that much. Oh, Rainbow Energy worked for Flash Fire. I did not know that. I didn't even, I mean, Flareon, no one really plays it, so it's like, obviously, I'm not going to know that, but, yeah, the more you know. Unfortunately, our Empoleon is taking a beating here. I mean, it's so fragile anyways, it's not a big deal, but it's in range of being knocked out by, like, almost Horn Attack, which is sad. And, do we Diving Draw? I don't think we do. Well, I guess we can get away with it. What do we Dive? I don't really want to get rid of Choice Band, but I think we will. Try and maybe hit another rare candy Empoleon here. Okay, we got another Primplo. We do have Guzma. Maybe we can keep this hand for next turn and then knock out a... F we'll knock out his Flareon next turn. That seems fine. Taking quite a few damage here, though, but I think we'll do that. We'll evolve straight into Primplo up here. And then I think what we'll do is we will do Guzma next turn. And we will... I'm assuming he doesn't end me, of course. And we'll Guzma and knock out that Flareon he's got in his field. Seems like a good play. Just wipe out all the energy on his board. Seems like a good strat. As long as we can get around Tauros, we're okay. Just gotta see where else he puts energy. I'm hoping he maybe attaches to another Flareon. Glad he's not building up Drampa, because that's a little scary when you consider Drampa can start one-shotting Empoleon for no choice band. Just an energy and a pass. Okay, luckily Empoleon's got enough HP to survive a hit. So we are gonna Guzma out his Flareon here. Seems good, and I think I'm going to Diving Draw away Tapu Fini. I don't think we'll need that anymore. We can probably build up Lapras' attack at this point. Oh, rip, we didn't get the Empoleon on our candy. I mean, one's in the discard, I guess, but that just kind of sucks. And I guess we just attack Command him for the KO. See a Flareon, and let's take our two prizes here, and let's see what we find. Bridget and N. I was hoping for, like, an Ultra... Oh, no, all the Marshall was in the deck. What am I saying? I do want to get an Empoleon break and play, because we might be able to knock out Tauros. I don't think we can, but we will knock out his Flareon on the bench again, and then we can just finish off Shaman. Or actually, I might even just knock out the Shaman right now, next turn, and then finish off the Flareon, because that's such an easy prize. Um, so maybe I do that, because it'll be hard to knock out Shaman, because it doesn't have a weakness to fire, so it might be better to knock out the Shaman here. We are going to see a Skyla here. Don't know what he can go for. That can help him. Unless he's... I mean, not even like a hammer could matter. He probably does play hammers though, because, you know, of course he does, but we'll see. I think he'll just grab maybe a, like a Sycamore and enter something. And whoops, I just dropped something, but that's fine. But yeah, I think he's just going to grab a... Yep, okay, I was right, he's going to grab a Sycamore. And we're probably just going to see... He's got three energies in the discard. Okay, we're probably just going to see an attack. He's only doing 20 does let him finish me out with Horn Attack, but I don't really care about Tauros, because we can set up a win here very quickly. Oh, we could even do that, but the problem with that is then we lose our knockout, so I think it's better just to take the knockout here. Glad he didn't grab N, though, too. I'm kind of surprised he honestly didn't. Okay, there's Empoleon number two, which is what I was hoping for. <laughs> I'll rip the secret rare Empoleon, though, am I right? Um, will Diving draw away the end? I don't think we'll need that right now. Hopefully we can hit another Empoleon here so we can rear candy. No, we do get Super Odd, though. Yeah, I think we can play that. We can get back one Empoleon. We'll get back the Feeny just in case. You never know. We might actually need it. Maybe it'll be useful. Who knows? Um, 
guess we'll attach to Lapras, just keep building that up. And I guess we knock out Shaman here. We are doing enough damage though, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, we're good, right? Yeah, we're, we're definitely knocking out Shaman. Just making sure. We'll knock out the Shaman, then we can just finish off Flareon maybe for next turn or in the future because, let's be real, we're going to hit it thanks to our... Thanks to our Empoleons. I, maybe I could have attached to that Empoleon on the bench instead because that one does survive, but it's whatever. Uh, I'm going to put a Choice Pin down because I don't really want to draw into that in case he does top deck and enter something. Though he is going to do Sycamore, we will win next turn regardless. So we're going to take out the Shaman here, draw two prizes, let's see what we hit. Candy and another Sycamore. Which is pretty sweet. And he's actually bringing out Drampa and not Tauros, which is very odd. I don't really know what he's doing there, unless he's trying to... Berserk me for eight? I mean, he can knock me out with Berserk, I guess, if he hits a DC, but... Bit of a random play. He attached the Tauros! What are you doing? Do you have a switch in your hand or a float stone? No, he doesn't. I guess he's just hoping he hits it, but he did put down another Pokemon weak to fire, or water, sorry, which is kind of nice. Um... Don't know why he didn't bring out the Tauros and knock me out. Unless he's planning on... Okay, if that even if that also that hit, he would have been able to attack with Tauros and retreat Drampa. Because Drampa has a 2 retreat cost, not a 1 retreat cost. So it's a little harder uh, for Drampa to retreat. So very interesting play for my... Okay, he had a switch. Well, there you go. But we do win the game unless he red cards me or does something crazy. Nope, just a horn attack for 70, and that is indeed game, folks. Won the game just straight up with Empoleon. We could even just win with Lapras. Which is not as satisfying as winning with thing. Do, can we knock out Tauros? We can't. No, we can't. We played Professor QQ, we might have been able to with the Blizzard Burn. That's fine. Just bring out the big Emperor Empoleon. And ooh, wow. I do want to slow roll him here, but uh, I just want to get this game over with. So we are indeed going to Guzma for the win. Knock out that... Well, it doesn't really matter what we knock out. We'll knock out Houndoom, though, just because... We'll punish him for putting down a Pokemon weak to fire on his bench, sure. And uh, we'll choice band, retreat, and attack man. For the game on my opponent here, didn't even take out any EXs. We had a Lele and a Napoleon prize. I didn't even realize that. I guess my house got robbed by my prizes. We are going to get a present box here, and I think we even got a chest off of the ladder. So I can definitely open that up for you guys. Maybe we get a packet here. Ooh, I'll take that. I am planning on grinding out tourneys very soon, so I can get a bunch of packs. So I will definitely take that. Um, yeah, cool. And there is our three... Or no, just one chest, sorry. Not three. I don't know why I said three. And uh, we'll open that up, I guess. I mean, it's just one chest. Not like we're going to get, like, anything insane, like... A GX Pokemon. You never know. We might. I pulled a Manaphy, I think, out of a chest a while back. So maybe we can pull a nice EX or GX in a chest. Let's find out. It is nice because you do get free coins here. And here we go. Okay, we do get a rare. And we get 10 coins. Cool. And all right, here we go. GX. We got a Mudslade. Well, uh, <laughs> that's pretty bad. Maybe it's like a Rogue. I mean, uh, there is a fighting challenge going on right now. So maybe we can, I mean, we could actually do the bit of the fighting challenge right now um, with Landris in the deck. But uh, we are going to get another match here with the Empoleon deck, the Emperor Empoleon himself. Bow down to the king. Let's see. Gardevoir. Okay, this is where I was really hoping, okay, yeah, maybe Cobalion would actually be good. We do have Tapu Fini, which also works too, I guess. I mean, Empoleon uses one energy to attack also, which is kind of important to note too. So, it's not bad. Okay, this hand is not very good. At all. Man, I was playing test in this deck, and I was getting pretty good hands. Um, could be, best case scenario, we get like a Bridget start. Okay, it is Gardevoir. We can beat Gardevoir, I think. I think we can beat him. Worst case scenario, he plays Plea, Sylveon, and resets to Empoleons. But we will try and beat him here. Another... I mean, that works too, I guess, for the Empoleon thing I wanted to do, but not the greatest. Is Bridget even in the deck? It is. Okay, so we're going to do Bridget here. I wouldn't be 
bad either to maybe go for Landorus. Since it only needs one energy also, so Gardevoir could have a hard time knocking that out. I don't know. It might be better just to assault him with Empoleon to die. Deny him as many prizes as he can. Force him to have the Guzma. We'll get three Piplups. Do we put the Feeny down now? Do we wait a turn? I think we wait a turn. I think I'm just going to go all in and just... I don't know, because let me... Now, we're going to get Beer Search next. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll grab three Piplups here. We'll just go all in with the Piplups. We'll just... We'll assault him to death with Piplups. We will swarm him with evil penguins. Seems like a good play by me. Um, there is some people being very loud outside my... In my window. I don't know if you guys, I don't think you guys can hear that my window is closed because finally it is not hot. It was like last week, dude. It was so hot. It was like 30 degrees out. Now it's like 12 degrees out. So the weather just went, it just plummeted. So now I don't have to have my fan on anymore. And oh my god, mans are screaming. I think there's a pool next door, but that's, dude, stop screaming. <laughs> Even if I wasn't recording, it'd still be annoying if I'm trying to like sleep or something. All right, but let's see if my opponent can also get a turn one Bridget here. Ooh, a Via Seeker goes in the discard. That can definitely help. All right, he is going to Lele. Hopefully this dude has a Bridget prize. If that would be the case, that'd be great. Holy cow! These mans are being so loud outside my house. I just want to open my window and say, Shut up! Oh my gosh. They're loud as heck. You hear that? I don't. I don't know if you. Hold on. Yeah, I'm. I'm literally. I'm not talking. I'm. I'm picking up audio on my my mic, my mic thing here in OBS. Holy cow, they're being loud. Oh my goodness. First it was a dog barking, and then there was some weird machine outside. Now there's just kids talking. I live in a very weird neighborhood. A whole. Hey, they need to be quiet. I literally cannot play this game. I can't. I can't. I can't focus. They're being so loud, it's gonna get picked up on the mic. I guess we can chorus for eight. Oh my god, can they please be quiet? <laughs> they keep screaming. Can you hear? Okay, I'm just gonna not even bother thinking about it. I'm gonna go all in here and hope we hit Rare Candy and Polion. I'm feeling lucky today. So we are gonna go all in. And we whiff. <laughs> what is this hand? Oh no. Um, what is the best case scenario for me here okay well i think we're definitely not going to need manetric so we can definitely dump that in the discard pile i might just grab a primp up here i'll keep this other ultra ball for next turn i guess we can charm we could even retreat i don't really like that though i think it's better just to well, we're probably gonna get knocked out next turn assuming he has a supporter I guess we just have to charm and hope for the best, and then our Piplup survives the turn. At the very least, we're confirmed to get an Empoleon next turn, but I might actually try and to go for Feeny. If he knocks me out, I'll go for Feeny so we can Tapu Storm him, and I'll grab a Lele for like a Sycamore or something. Double Curlia is kind of scary, but we can Tapu Storm him. We'll see if he has Supporter. I think he does. No, he doesn't. Wow. Okay. Sparkling Wish. And he can actually go into Octillery if he wanted to, but he didn't. Interesting. An end top that guy. That's one card I do not want to play. So we are going to go Propagation here. And we are indeed going to be dumping our Landers. I don't think we're going to need Landers at this point. It's pretty much useless. So we'll just grab Lele. I might have to Super Rod them back. I'll have to Super Rod back the Manetric and stuff too, I think. Yeah, it's fine. I'm attached to Lele. Yeah, sure. We'll build up a Lele while we're at it. Seems fine. Lele can definitely attack Gardevoir for big damage, right? So. Oh no, two of them pulling on surprise. That's not good. That is not good at all. Oh, new! Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well. Alright, I guess we'll just lay late. We could even Guzman right now, actually. Nope, of course our Guzman's priced. 
We'll grab a Sycamore, and we'll go for Diving Draw here and try and hit Guzma to knock, uh, bring out, not knock him out, but bring out the Gardevoir here. So, uh, we will hope for a VS Seeker. Oh, yeah, two Guzmas are in the discard. What am I saying? I am, I'm an idiot. All right, well, we're going to Diving Draw and hope to hit a VS Seeker. Rip. Okay, well, yeah, I guess we have to do, okay, rip. I was hoping for the VS Seeker there, but, uh, nope. Wait, can I just shuffle back an energy? I can't. Mm, I guess I gotta get back the two cards. Okay, that's fine. And we'll Sycamore and hope to hit an Empoleon, I guess? We're out of Ultra Balls. Yeah, I figured we wouldn't hit it. We can knock him out now, but we do have the VS Seeker for next turn, so I think I'm just gonna keep Charm in here. Or actually, maybe I should have just retreated and keep, kept the energy in play. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. It is what it is. We'll just Charm for now. And hope he doesn't have an energy to attack me. Another Gardevoir hit in the field. I think he's gonna... I did want to try and deny him from going into an Octillery here. Because then he can actually get stuff going. Oh, he's actually gonna retreat. Does he have an energy to knock me out? He does. And before the last part is the Professor Sycamore. Okay. Whew. Can you imagine if it was? It's only one prize too. So that's good. We'll bring out Empoleon. And we could tap with Storm. Or we could have... Oh, no, we still can, I guess. But... It doesn't really matter at this point. I think it's better just to go from here. Let's go diving. Let's go diving draw first and try and hit a try and hit like our other Empoleon if we can. If not, we're gonna have to probably put energy on Lele. Okay, we didn't. We got a Manetric though, which I don't think we'll need. It doesn't even have a tool on. I guess we just chorus. Yeah, I guess we'll go Colrus here. Might even honestly not attach the energy. I don't really know if I want to attach that. So I think we're going to Colrus for a bit. Yeah, we'll Colrus here. I do want to put another Pokemon down, I guess. So, I mean, I guess we'll put Feeny down. Hopefully he doesn't have a Guzma. We are going to do a Colrus here and maybe get our other Empoleon. on break. That works too. How much am I doing? I don't think I'm knocking him out, but let's check it out. Um, well, actually, I might not even want to attach an energy and keep him from not knocking me out. Um, so, how much does he do? 30 times armor Pokemon in your opponent's play. All right, so, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. So, we're not knocking him out. So, I think it's fine just to attach... I'm, I'm actually, no, I'm not going to attach. I'm going to keep the energy around. Just in case. I don't know. Let's just attack him for a nice solid 140. Knock him out next turn. I know. Maybe our Empoleon break and live the turn here. And then we'll finish him off with Tapu Lele. Because, yeah, we couldn't find our other Empoleon. So we can knock him out with... No, yeah, we'll have the Lele. I'm still another thing that can take him out. And we just got to hope he still doesn't have a supporter. He doesn't have an artillery. He's played a few cards, though. So we'll see if... He does find a supporter, and a, uh, no, just an infinite force for 120. Doesn't even knock me out. Okay. Oh, and you can see, <laughs> I just beat a Gardevoir deck. I don't know. Maybe he conceded because he knew I was going to knock him out, but maybe he, I mean, he could have just brought out Diancy and stalled for a bit. I don't know. That's cool, though. I'll take it. Free win. I'll get another game with our deck, of course. Get some level balls. If it lets me uh, click on... Okay, I guess not. I don't know. Whatever. I was trying to click on the messages thing. I don't think we're going to be able to get the Burning Shadows pack. We might be able to get 50 coins, though. If we win one more game, we can definitely get 50 coins here. Which isn't really enough to get anything, but who knows. Alright, let's get one last match with our deck. Don't stop Can't believe we made that Gardevoir deck concede. <laughs> but your boy ain't complaining. Your boy Guzma. Even though my name ain't Guzma. So, uh, here we go. We'll get another match. Maybe, just maybe, as you can see, my losing streak went down. Um, I just got a really bad hand. I couldn't draw into anything, and I just ended up losing. So I was like, we're not even going to include that. That is really boring to watch. So we're going to go for the coin flip. We are going to win it, which is sweet. Turn to Empoleon height. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Surprise face in the thumbnail looking like I'm taking one in the bum. I. Okay, this is a good start, actually. We get him a Land of the Landers start here. We can uh, start with Piplup, too. I don't know what he's playing. I saw Fighting and Colorless. 
I think. I know well, he's definitely playing fighting, judging from the deck box. Or it might just be a pure fighting. Because I know there's a challenge right now where you can get, um, like, the, the fighting challenge. So maybe he's doing that. And, uh, best case scenario, he's playing Landorus, and Empoleon will uh, wreck his day. So let's see. Could be Lycanroc. Might be Lycanroc or Marshadow. You never know. Machamp. Okay, then. Interesting. We are going to do an Ultra Ball here. And in before all the Lilies are prized. Oh my god, I was so close to almost being right. Um, okay, so we'll drop Lele for a... Uh, Sycamore. Yeah, I don't think we need to end him. I think we just go Sycamore, you know, draw a nice fresh hand of seven. And I think I'm just going to attach a Choice Band of Landers. Landers is a little powerful against Machamp. Since it does have... Um, does have good immunity um because machamp does a lot of damage to ba uh to evolutions but not to basics like landris though he does have machoke most likely so landris might not be in the spotlight for too long looks like we're gonna have to dump all our empoleon breaks too which is fine we do have our super odd for a reason i don't know how important empoleon break is but maybe because i think machamp does 120 for two to an evolution and with a strong energy then he's one-shotting us so maybe with Empoleon we can survive that. Or he's going to end me, okay. Yes, yeah, so with Empoleon break we might be able to survive that. Force him to have to use his Jex attack to knock us out. And I feel my phone ringing, but I am not going to answer that because I'm too lazy. He actually puts a Brooklyn Hill in play, which is fine. I don't think I'll need that anymore. And just a pass. Does Oricorio knock him out? Or Corio could knock him out here, but unfortunately we do not have a Guzma. So yeah, that is uh, not going to happen. We could build up a Lance Judgment. Kind of tempted to. I don't think he'll knock me out next turn, right? Cause... Yeah, we'll threaten the Lance Judgment. That seems fine. Um, I guess we'll put Or Corio. I, I need to put something down. I didn't want to put Manetric down because it's weak to fighting. So we're going to go all in with Sycamore. Hey, we do hit the Empoleon, which is sweet. Only problem is I don't really want to do Diving Draw right now. So I got nothing I want to discard. So I think I'm just going to Hammerhead here and soften up Zygarde to be knocked out. I'm going to quickly check my phone who called me. It's just my friend, alright, whatever. I'll be like, yo fam, I'm in the middle of a video. What are you doing? Nah. Well, he, he knows I make videos, but he's probably, he doesn't know I'm recording. Okay, so the Machoke is in play. It's going to be a little hard to get around this Machoke. So, it looks like Landris kind of served its due. We can knock him out Land's Judgment, I guess, instead. It's fine. Execute top deck would be nice. You could play Level Ball in here, too, I guess. Maybe maybe I should have went one, one Die Ball, one Level Ball. I think, honestly, I should have. I kind of feel dumb for that. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I think one Die Ball, one Level Ball is better. Because with Level Ball, you can just search out your uh, guy. Cross chop. So he's only doing 60. Oh wow, that's still a lot of damage. Okay, let's see. Hmm, still, I don't want to discard any of these cards. So I think we'll just take him out with Land's Judgment here. Because I don't really want to. I don't really want to get rid of any of these cards. And then we can maybe just knock out Zygarde with Land's Judgment, but then we'll be stranded. Well, we do have Guzma, so it's fine. Looks like Lander's putting all the dirty work in. And it'd be nice to get a play on break. Um, so I think we're just chilling for now, you know. Landers definitely won't be getting knocked out next turn. Um, so we can chill. He actually does bring out the Zygarde, which is pff, what I wanted him to do. So that we can uh, knock him out and then do Guzma next turn. And then we don't have to worry about being stranded in the active with uh, only, possibly only one blend in the deck. So I think one might have been prized. I didn't check, but you never know. One might be prized, right? Choice band. Okay, he can potentially do up to like... 60, okay, he can do, like, potentially, like, 70 in damage to me, but I'll still be able to survive. Maybe he'll two-shot me with, like, the Marshadow, Zygarde combo next turn after we knock him out Lance Judgment. And before he drops an Enhanced Hammer. A Lysander on my poor Piplup, okay. Don't know what Piplup ever did to you. A float on his Marshadow, and a Rangaru coming down. I think I'm gonna have to retreat here and then go into Landorus. And knock him out. Okay, just a pass. Yeah, we definitely... Oh, wow. <laughs> or we can just attack command him. That'll work, too. This way we can keep Landorus for later. Sure. 
I mean, maybe he'll drop down like a Lycanroc GX or something. You never know. It just sucks I can't do Diving Draw because I don't really want to get rid of any of these cards. So I think we're just going to attack Command him here. Unfortunately, he's going to survive. But next turn, we could maybe Hammerhead. We could Hammerhead up for Rangaroo and do that and knock him out that way. We are going to see a Karina go from a choke. I right, never mind. Potentially, since he does... Ooh, okay, damn. Oh, he does not go to Zygarde that way. I think we're doing... We're doing 150, 180. Okay, we're short. So we already have to get damage on Zygarde, so... We'll have to maybe knock out Marshad or something. 40 damage. <laughs> Choice Band, too strong. There's our other Blend Energy. Man, I don't want to get rid of any of these cards, but... I think I'm going to have to do Diving Draw at some point. So I think we are indeed going to dump a Choice Band here. It's the only card I really want to get rid of out of that hand. Ooh, Super Rod. Alright, then we can Diving Draw the other Water Energy away then. And then play Super Rod here. Or we could then Dive Ball first. Hey, there we go! There we go, we finally got our boy Execute, so we'll go with a Super Rod here. And we will do another Diving Draw. I don't think I'm really looking for anything right now. Maybe a Chorus would be bad, I guess. Okay, well, I guess we'll just attach... And I'll do Die Ball, just grab and pull on break. Might as well. Seems fine. Vault the active, I guess. Sure, because why not? And uh, we are going to attack Commandum for the KO. And yeah, there you go. Let's take our two prizes here. I don't know what is in the prizes, but... Okay, Sycamore. Hey, VS Seeker, that's pretty good. Maybe we could... Cause we, did we evolve Prip up here? Okay, no. We went Rare Candy, okay. Uh, maybe we can find our Ace Rolla and then just Ace Rolla our Empoleon and be like, Yo, I just reset your board. What are you going to do, fam? Now, the cool thing here, if he puts another Pokemon down, we're just going to knock him out straight up with a Choice Band. If he doesn't, I think I'm going to have to... We'll have to do um, Emperor Command, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Emperor's Command. Yeah, we're going to have to Emperor's Command him here. But yeah, we're kind of on fire right now. It's kind of like an Overwatch... Where, you know, you, you go crazy with the kills and whatnot and the points. You go on fire. Kind of what we're doing right now. We can literally just draw six cards every turn. Karen. Okay. Looking for potentially just a water energy so I don't have to attach this blend energy to my Empoleon break. Okay. I think I'm just going to dive and draw away Lapras. Just get rid of some excess stuff that we don't need anymore. Really? We didn't? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to attach the thing. I mean, let's be real, we can do whatever, but I think we'll just sit on this hand. We could have computer searched, whatever. Um, I could ace roll on my lander is, but then I don't want that easy one shot. So I think we're just gonna Emperor's Command him here, knock him out, and yeah, we're basically at the point where if my opponent doesn't get something going, it's a uh, GG. We basically win neck, there's nothing he can do. <laughs> Legit, unless he... I don't know, does like double enhanced hammer, Jirachi, end of one, maybe, worst to work, okay, not just a Sycamore, so that's good. So yeah, it looks like we're just going to win this game, and I think that'll wrap up the video after this match. We are going to see a Field Blower, doesn't really matter because we still have our Guzma, we can just knock out Machop or Rangaroo. And I guess we'll just see, yeah, an attack, is that our last choice band though? Nah, because still got one left. So, that will wrap up today's video and the game. We're just going to Guzma the Machop out and finish him off with, of course, the Secret Rare Empoleon. Here we go. Attack command. Boom! 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 Uppercut. See ya, Machop. I don't know what. Don't ask me what that was. And before cringe unsubbing, before you hit 2k, I'm going to unsub anyways because I'm a jerk. Alright. That'll be it for the game today and the video. And maybe I should have Lance Judgment to finish him off so I can get more damage done. It's fine. I'm probably just going to grind that out anyways. Might even play a funny deck in the uh, Legacy Journey. But uh, yeah, that'll wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, we're kind of just chilling until Shining Legends drops on Friday. Which, by the time you're watching this, this video might go up on Tuesday or Wednesday. Probably Tuesday. So I do want to try and get one more video in before Shiny Legends drops. Because I do have a, a deck idea in mind for Shiny Legends that doesn't involve anything from Shiny Legends. But it's like a Shiny Legends anti-Shiny Legends card. Because 
let's just say there's going to be one occurring theme with some of the big cards coming out of Shiny Legends that's going to cause a bit of a, uh, a, this like kind of recurring theme with some of the main cards from Shining Legends that are going to shake the format up a bit. Let's just say there's a bit of a occurring theme with those kind of cards, and I'm going to be making a deck to counter that, so we'll, 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 you'll see when Friday comes. Um, or Saturday, whenever I decide to upload it. But that'll be it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, honestly, I think if anything, I would definitely put in a level ball. So maybe you can go with one dive, one level, which I think I'll do here. Just, you know, in case I ever want to play this deck again down the road. So yeah, I think you can go one level ball, one dive ball. Just so this way you have access to search out your execute and discard it. I feel like that was better than the two dive balls. The dive meta. So thanks for watching, and uh, sub to help me on the road 2K. Let's see if we can hit 2,000 subs by Shiny Legends. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.